Declutter and organize with me today, we are going to focus on tidying the spaces that should be much more tidy considering they are the spaces that hold all my cleaning and laundering supplies. This whole room is an oxymoron. Also, quick thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. We'll get right into the cleaning and organizing, but first, I have to clean up breakfast. Fortunately, for the first time in I don't even know how long, I don't have to do an extensive cleaning of my kitchen. I just want to get use out of the little bit of smoothie left from breakfast this morning. I got these popsicle molds off of Amazon so all I'm gonna do is fill the extra smoothie that we didn't drink this morning into the molds and they will be healthy breakfast popsicles in the future always looking for the fastest way to get tasks done and for cleaning out blenders the most efficient way I know how is to fill partway with water add some dish soap and blend for a few seconds and rinse works every time as long as it wasn't sitting for too long and dried and crusted onto the blender Next, we're going to declutter and organize the area underneath my sink, which is just a pile, a literal pile of stuff right now. I keep a lot of my cleaning supplies that I'm frequently using in this area down here, and there's no rhyme or reason. I know there's a lot of clutter. There's items that I don't even really like that are taking up space in here. So let's declutter it, then organize. Here is everything that I pulled out of there. That's a lot of stuff that was crammed into this one little cabinet that already has plenty of stuff in it that cannot be removed in the first place. With the limited amount of time we have today, I'm not going to dwell upon this stuff. I'm going to put the stuff that I know I frequently use back in here. Anything that's extra that can go into storage doesn't need to be in here like this bone of floor cleaner. I'm going to put in my cleaning closet, which I'm going to organize later. And then for the items that if I'm honest with myself and with y'all that I just don't really like, I'm gonna get rid of them. Starting with this Pink Stuff multi-purpose cleaner, I guess it works well enough. It maybe has one use left out of it. Again, it's not horrible, it was just $9, and I'm not going to spend $9 on this basic multi-purpose cleaner ever again. So I'm gonna get my one use left out of it, and then it's going away and I'm never going to rebuy. Love my Cascade Platinum dishwasher pods. I get them at Costco and Sam's whenever they're on sale. And I'm just consolidating where things can be consolidated so they don't take up so much space. I completely forgot I even own these Glisten garbage disposal pods. I'll, I'll keep these and I'll keep them near the forefront so I know and remember to use them. We got some Dollar Tree items that I bought way too long ago with the intentions of testing them and reviewing them, and then they got lost in the abyss. So I'm gonna put them in my cleaning closet and I am going to test these out eventually. This is a Dollar Tree item I did test and I did not like it. I really wanted to like it, especially because it's only $1.25 for the bottle, but it is a multi-purpose, multi-surface cleaner using plant-based products and I really wanted to like it but it smells awful it like hurts my throat almost I don't know if I'm allergic to something in this but I'm never gonna use this again so it's gonna go keeping this I need to refill it I got a lot of soap here and we never keep soap like this out on the counters because we always put them in these little soap filly brushes that's not a word <laughs> refillable soap brushes fillable soap brushes whatever I can talk y'all y'all can understand right I, I hope so but consolidate bottles I'm just gonna put this in this refillable one note to self I have two large refills of dish soap I do not need to buy dish soap for a while this is everything I'm getting rid of this is what I am going to be keeping in here and then that is what is going into my cleaning closet to keep things a bit more organized, I am going to install these command hanger things to the inside of my cabinet here. I say install as if it's going to be really hard. It's just adhesive that sticks to the inside of your cabinet or wherever you want it, and it holds your spray bottles for you. So I thought it would be great to have my most used items hanging right on the door so that I don't have to dig around for anything. It's always just right there. You know what, I'm gonna put them close to Together. It's gonna look lopsided, but this is a big enough door. I could probably hang two to four of these and the bottles are slim enough that it would work just fine. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them as high up as possible and somewhat compact together so that hopefully I can get four hanging here. I'm just gonna have to buy more of these. Two more to order and we're golden. 
I need to get something to nicely hang these gloves with. So that's something I'm gonna be looking for and I'll share in a future video. For now, I'm just hanging it over all these drains and cords. So here it is, all nice and organized. And the two multi-purpose cleaners I've been using the most hanging right there. The other two that I'll probably hang, I wish I could hang this, but obviously does not come with anything to hang it from. I'll probably hang my stainless steel cleaner here and then my floor cleaner here. Next, let's address my absolute mess of a cleaning closet. Considering this is holding all the things that are supposed to keep my home clean, you would think I would keep it tidier in here. My laundry room also, not the most tidy over here. There's hidden product behind these drying clothes. The top of my drying machine blocking all the dials is not the best place to keep this little green bissel. This is the nicest looking thing in here. I 1000% am going to label more things in this room with my Cricut machine because even though this whole place is an absolute mess, the fact that these four containers right here look beautifully labeled makes the whole place look not so terrible. Let's tidy up this side quick and refill some containers. I'm adding another item to my clear labeled containers here and filling it with OxyClean. My boys are getting riper by the day and always have stains on their clothes, so I've started adding OxyClean to their loads to help with the stains and stench. Let's get my Cricut machine now to help us create some beautiful labels quickly. I'm giving myself 30 minutes to get this done and thankfully they are the sponsors of today's video. In case you don't know what a Cricut machine is, Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects using tons of different materials. It works with a software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. For today, I want I want to label this clear organizer as well as the white bins on my cleaning wall to help tie the room together. Here are the materials I'm using today. We have black permanent vinyl with transfer tape, the scraper and weeding tool, then I'm using this as my ruler. And the star of the show is my Cricut Joy Machine, which is the perfect machine for quick small projects like this. I'm going to go measure the bins first to see how big I can make the label, then go into Cricut Design Space to create the label for the Cricut to cut. Now Cricut Design Space saves past projects, which makes it extremely simple to add on to existing work, which is what I am doing today. I am creating the OxyClean label with the matching font that I already have and adjusting the size so it will fit the container. Then for the white bins, I am creating the labels for those and adjusting the size up since it is a much larger container than the clear bins. Once you like the look and size of your project, click make it in the upper right corner. Then select whether you are using a mat or Cricut smart materials. Then it will take you to see a final review of your artwork as well as how much cutting material you'll need to complete the project. If all looks good, click continue. Select the material you'd like the machine to cut your design out with and insert the material in the machine. Once it's ready, click go. Once the machine is done cutting, you can separate out the individual labels and start the weeding process. Weeding is just getting rid of the excess material that you don't need for your label, and this is the most satisfying and calming part to me. I don't know what it is. I make projects and use my Cricut machine just so that I can do this weeding process. It is therapeutic to me. Raise your hand in the comments if you watch ASMR videos. I feel like that's what weeding is to me. Once you are done weeding, you can transfer the label onto transfer tape, then from the transfer tape onto its final destination. To get it onto the transfer tape, place the tape over the label and then scrape the tape over the label until the label easily comes up onto the tape. When transferring it onto its final destination, it's the same thing. Place it onto the container or bin, scrape it or press it into place, and you should be able to peel off the tape easily with the label staying intact. And once you're all done, the space looks so elevated. Even in this situation where we haven't even started the decluttering and organizing process yet other than this. So let's get back to that. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Check out the description box below for more details.
All right, now to finish with the decluttering, but even though I didn't declutter, just having things nice and consistently labeled with the same font, it makes it look cleaner even when it's still just a mess. Now that everything's labeled, let's finish with organizing and decluttering this side. I'm going to declutter these free samples of draft just because I don't like the smell of it to begin with. And I just held on to it because it was free, but I certainly do not need it. Love these laundry sheets. My favorite ones are probably the Sheets Laundry Club ones, but they're great for when you're traveling or staying at Airbnbs because they're super compact and work great. I can declutter this. I don't use just this fragrance laundry stuff here. So in here, I have everything to help me with stains, my shout color catchers, washing machine cleaners, and the laundry sheets as well. And then we have this side. I'm gonna move my little green Bissell here for when I wash my bras, these holders, so that the bra clasps don't destroy my clothes. But because I really don't keep very much in my dryer side drawer, I have decided to store all the random little extra pieces that go along with my vacuum cleaners. They all go in this area because otherwise they end up all over over the place in the house and I can never find them. All the little attachments for all my vacuums just live right here. So if I need a certain attachment, I can look through and see what the best option is for the task at hand. Now we're going to finish up on this side with a wipe down and there was a lot of gunk stuck in the crevice here. So I took a butter knife, put a microfiber cloth over it and cleaned out all the hard to get at stuff out easily. This side is done and looks beautiful. Yes, I realized my washer and dryer do not match, but I just got the washer I wanted and the dryer I wanted. And I wanted a commercial grade dryer because I've had way too many dryers die on me and commercial grade dryers never die. Go to any laundromat and you know what I'm talking about. Oh, let me straighten this out. All right, straightened out, but yes, I wanted a dryer that would live forever and that is this one. So it does not match and that's okay. Now let's focus on the mess over here. There's a lot here and I, again, have limited time to do all of this. So let me think, I am not going to pull everything out for the declutter. I'm going to declutter shelf by shelf. And once I have only what I want remaining, then I'm going to organize. Starting way up top here, I do not need to be storing any of this up top. I got my washer's user manual, but I don't need to be holding on to any manuals. All the different manuals and pamphlets that come with all your appliances can be found online. All right, next. I have bought refills of my OxyClean Kaboom that sprays on bright purple. I don't know what it is about these, but I love them. They are so beautiful. It's so satisfying to clean with these. So I bought backups on backups to make sure that I don't run out because I know they're going viral on TikTok. So I got a little, I, I panic bought them just to make sure I wouldn't run out in case everyone starts buying these up. I'm keeping those. I got a pair of vinegar up here, some bug killer, freaking bugs everywhere in Tejas. Throwing things on the ground is probably not the best way to declutter, but oh well. These. This doesn't go in here. This is something I need to test. I'm gonna start a pile for things I have been meaning to test. A lot of them are Dollar Tree things. I'm trying to find great items that are at a great value. So that is why I have labeled some of my bins test products, as you can see here. I don't know why I have so many freaking bottles of scrubbing bubbles. I don't even use scrubbing bubbles anymore. I have my bin that I have labeled bathroom that I will put all of the bathroom cleaning supplies in into. I'll probably give these to my mother-in-law and sister-in-law. I like my purple kaboom. And I want to clarify, it's not that I think scrubbing bubbles is bad. It works just fine. I just so prefer the satisfying cleaning that happens with this purple foam that this is just what I want to use now instead of scrubbing bubbles. So I'm not giving my mother-in-law and sister-in-law like bad products. It works just fine. I just want to keep the ones I prefer. A ton of Lysol toilet bowl cleaners that I'm going to put in here as well. I buy my toilet bowl cleaner in bulk from either Costco or Sam's Club. But basically whoever has a deal going on it gets my business on the Lysol toilet bowl cleaner front and they can all go in here now. Next shelf we got here, it, there's barely anything left in it. So I'm going to dump the remainder in this little one here. That didn't work out great. <laughs> So there's a mess of floor cleaner below me. There are worse things than floor cleaner that you can spill on your floors. So I'm gonna count it as a win. 
just pre-treating the floors, but before I clean them at the end. So since this is floor care, I'm going to put my Folex carpet spot remover in here. Pet urine remover that I'm going to add to this area. I don't have any pets, but I do have three boys that have had many accidents on our carpet throughout their learning to go to the bathroom in the actual bathroom journey. So I have this and I'm not throwing it away anytime soon, just in case. This, I don't think I've used this yet before actually. So even though it's floor care, since I haven't used this yet, Zep is like commercial grade cleaning. So it's really high end cleaning. But since I haven't used this, it's going into the tester bucket because I want to test it out to see if it's better than Folex. But otherwise I got all my floor care stuff that I know and trust and love in the this bin. Next, we're moving on over to multi-purpose cleaners. Like, I didn't know what to name this bin, so it's kind of just the catch-all bin of items that I know I like that I eventually am going to use that just doesn't belong in the bathroom or floor care area. Oh my gosh, another scrubbing bubbles. I'm not keeping any scrubbing bubbles. Why do I have five cans? Oh my gosh, there's so many just like random, any type of purpose cleaners that I like. I really need to take the time one of these days to really narrow it down, but today, is not the day. Moving on down, we got the pink stuff right here. Now, if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you know that these are products that I say I regret buying, and I do regret buying them just for the simple fact that I paid so much money for these. They were $9 each where I am. And this is basically soft scrub. So soft scrub is way cheaper than this. And for this one, the Scrub Daddy Power Paste is a dollar more expensive than this, but it just works so much faster in my experience that I like to spend less time cleaning. So I'm gonna pay one more dollar for the Scrub Daddy Power Paste instead of this. And I just know I'm not gonna use these. Are they bad? No. Was this overpriced for being soft scrub? Yes. And this still works, but just not quite as well as Scrub Daddy Power Paste. So again, giving these to my mother-in-law and sister-in-law because I know they'll use it and they're not terrible products. They're just better ones. These can be decluttered because they went with my Bissell Spin Wave that I recently decluttered. Again, talked about it on my TikTok, but I just like my O Cedar Spin Mop so much more than the Spin Wave, so I don't need these anymore since it is gone now. Dollar Tree dish detergent packs, another test product. I have so many items I need to freaking test out. All my cleaning rags. I need to get a big bin for all my cleaning rags. This bin is not big enough at all. Am I folding these really nice? No, because I am really running out of time to get this done. Okay, better done than perfect. I also bought these I need to test out. This is getting tossed because it was a complete waste of money POS. And I'm trapped in here. I've imprisoned myself surrounded by cleaning products I'm not gonna be keeping anymore. Well, I'm keeping that, I'm keeping that, I'm keeping that. I guess I just need to organize what's on the floor enough so that I can escape. Ugh, nothing fits in this tiny little bin so this whole bottom shelf i'm just designating test products because it just it has i i need it i need it <laughs> bad i'm putting these next to my bathroom area because i specifically use these disinfectant wipes to clean in my bathroom area throwaway wipes are great for cleaning around your toilet area on the floor where there might be some urine on the ground obviously not great for the planet but that's why i really only specifically use these in the urine parts of my home off of this wall i I'm gonna get rid of my Dollar Tree dupe of a Swiffer. For the price, this is great. Like each of these little things is $1.25. This bottom head portion is $1.25. And then you have to buy the stick for $1.25. And it is great if you're on a budget. I just personally feel like the Swiffer, the, like flat mop head that I've had for years and years and years is just more sturdy. I don't know, the difference isn't huge. It just is just sturdy enough that it makes doing my Swiffer window cleaning hack easier. I feel like it's more firm on getting the floors cleaned. Just that 1% extra sturdiness to me is worth keeping this over the Dollar Tree one. And then I haven't used my Bona flat mop head in years, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I pretty much exclusively use my Swiffers. The internet convinced me to buy this Bissell Steam Shot, so this is another thing 
that I am going to need to test out and will be sharing with you guys on whether or not I think it's worth it in the end. But I was pleasantly surprised. This Bissell Steam Shot wasn't crazy expensive or anything. It was, I think, about $34 or $35 on Amazon. So I am hoping it works and was worth my money because even though it's not that expensive, it still was $34 or $35. Bucks. And if it's completely useless, that's $34 or $35 bucks wasted. Here is everything that I decluttered out of here. It doesn't look like that much was decluttered, but part of it is because I didn't actually declutter that much stuff. A lot of stuff that was in here just truly didn't belong in here and was taking up space. So I put away what needed to be put away that I am keeping. And then this is what I am either tossing because it is completely useless or giving away to family and friends because they're perfectly good cleaning products. I just know that I personally am not gonna use them. All right. Alrighty, it is clean in here, finally. The floor is clear as well. I have my stick vac that I use down here, my carpet cleaner, my little Bissell spot cleaner. This is my cleaning caddy that I use just whenever I'm going around and cleaning the house that has all the basics and essentials, my O-Cedar spin mop bucket. Then I got all of my, like, what do you call these? Stick tools, stick cleaning tools here, like my O-Cedar spin mop, Swiffer, my showers, scrubbers. This is my kids love every little cleaner so that they can help me out. My dusters. Then I got this beautiful setup here. I know it's freaking crooked. There's nothing I can do about that. It bothers me too. Just ignore that. But I got a whole bunch of test products down here. These are the test products that I don't feel like I have to get done immediately, but it still needs its own shelf the test products that I do want to get on quickly, I am putting at eye level. All my random multi-purpose cleaners, my floor cleaners, bathroom cleaners, and then I got overflow right here and then bug bug killers right there. This area right here, I need to get a bucket to put stuff in so that it can be neater and more together. But I have my gloves and sponges, scouring things, my Mr. Clean Magic erasers here, you know, more scouring things. I got my drill and my drill attachments for when I need to deep clean things. Some extra O Cedar mop heads, my Swiffer dusting heads, my Swiffer wet cloths and dry cloths. These are my microfiber cleaning cloths. I have a whole bunch that I need to clean right now. Usually I have way more than this. So it has its own large shelf that again, I want a bucket for to keep them all together. But yeah, these are my cleaning supplies. It looks so much neater. Just having things nicely labeled like this makes such a big difference, makes the whole space feel so much more organized even when it's not quite perfect. I thoroughly enjoyed our hangout today, and if you feel the same way, feel free to click on one of the playlists floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!